My name is Lisa. Currently, I live in the middle of nowhere. More specifically, in a cabin in the Norwegian mountains. I would like to tell you about life up here because it's pretty different from life in the city. Until one year ago, actually, I lived in Amsterdam and I was an advisor to the director of the municipality. I used to wake up and go to the office all day, every day. Until I soon realized that this lifestyle was simply not for me. So I decided to go and try out a different way of living. Let me take you along with me on a regular day here at the farm. I wake up early at 6 a.m. in a cold cabin. My bed is warm and cozy though. The only bad thing is getting out of it. First thing I do is go to the outhouse. When you live in the middle of nowhere, toilets are not promised. The next thing I do is make a fire. In the evening, I heat to 20 degrees, but as I fall asleep, the fire dies and the temperature inside my cabin drops. Once the stove is warm, I make myself a cup of tea. I've never had more peaceful mornings than up here. It's completely quiet and I'm all alone. Movement is a big part of my life. When I'm not living in a winter landscape, I love running, boards and surfing. But when everything is covered in knee deep snow and it's minus 25 outside, you're limited when it comes to moving. Of course, we like to go on hikes and skiing, but on the cold days, I enjoy yoga and at home workouts. After that, I make myself some breakfast. Today, I felt like warm oats. This is when my workday starts, usually between 7 or 8, depending on when I wake up. As I'm a freelancer, I'm pretty independent and create my own schedule. When it comes to writing, I'm definitely most productive in the mornings, as I feel like my head is most clear then. In between, I take a small break to watch the sunrise, around 10 a.m. When it's not snowing and the sky is clear, the sunrises get extremely purple and pink. It's so magical. By 12 or 1, I have worked for 4 to 5 hours and I start to get hungry again. We make our food from scratch from whatever we can get our hands on here in the middle of nowhere. Today, we decided to have pizza for lunch. <laughs> then it's time to do farm work. Here we live with a herd of 5 half wild horses. By that I mean they were brought here, but they are not kept in any sort of stable or fence. They are, however, not allowed near our cabins, which one in particular does like to do. She even managed to get inside twice, once in the middle of the night, which was pretty scary. But we'll save that story for next week. They are free to roam around, but they never go too far, especially in winter. So every day we do mocking and we give them food multiple times a day. They also get a pedicure every now and then. Then we continue with the next task, which is digging us a way out of here to the car. Because of all the snow, we can drive the car up to the cabins, so we hike in by walking through the forest, over the bridge and crossing the field. It's important to keep this path clear for the sled as well, on which we bring in groceries and other essentials. Having a little celebratory break after clearing the snow is very important. I also tried out this thing of throwing boiling water in the air and it indeed evaporated. I'd love to take a proper shot of this once the sunlight hits the valley again in a few weeks time. Then the last task is to bring in more firewood. In these temperatures we use a lot as this is the only way we keep our cabins warm. I like keeping enough wood inside so I won't have to collect it later in the evening or early in the morning when it's dark and cold. 
after all that hard work outside, I get to shower. I do have to be quick though, as it has about 10 minutes of warm water before it has to refill itself. We use natural soap, as there are no pipes and everything flows right back into the earth. We had a big power outage in the area the other day, and then we also didn't have running water, but luckily it was fixed. Except for the power in my cabin. I can tell you it's a luxury to have access to electricity. I will not take it for granted that much anymore. Woohoo! <laughs> now it's time to relax. I light a candle, make myself a cup of tea and read a book. It is in Norwegian though, which I'm trying to learn, but I don't understand much of it. <laughs> then it was time to head to the campfire we got invited to. I'm really amazed by the sense of community around here, especially because there are not many people who live out here and the cabins are pretty far apart from each other. But every weekend there are gatherings and the people are really warm and welcoming. I turned 29 a couple days ago. 29. Um, and it was the craziest year, but I've never been happier and freer. And I guess I'm supposed to say that it was scary and a conscious decision to make all these changes. But the truth is, it was not at all. I just did what felt right in the moment and took small steps every day. Until one day I simply stopped, turned around, looked back and realized how much had changed. So stick around for the bloopers after this, but I just want to say thank you so much for all your support on my previous video. I hope you are all doing well. Um, I received tons of messages from you that a lot of people wish they could live in a peaceful way as well. And I hope you find that life one day and that until then my videos can contribute to that piece. If you'd like to see more before the next video, you can support my Patreon. The link is in the description or follow me on Instagram. The next video will be very interesting and a lot of fun. We will talk about dating in the middle of nowhere, the dangers of living out here and it might even involve some northern lights. So please write down in the comments any questions that you might have and I will reply to them in the next video. For now, enjoy the bloopers, have a good week, see you next week, thank you for watching. Now party's over. <laughs> oh my goodness. You know, I need to look good. <laughs> It's a bit strange, I think. Everyone who so far has been here has been filming you. Mocking! <laughs> As if it is the most important part of my life. That's how cold it is. <laughs> Send help.